Yo, what's up? It's Daikin Sonny here, ready to bring you some more Genshin Impact content today. And today we're going to be talking about the PS4. I get a lot of questions about the PS4 version of the game, so I was like, hey, why not talk about the PS4 uh, frequently asked questions that came out a few days ago. So, let's talk about that. But before that, I just want to talk about my Discord real quick. We are finally finished doing the setup for everything for the launch for Genshin Impact. So, to celebrate the launch of the game coming out shortly, we are doing a couple of give giveaways inside the Discord. So, if you guys want to jump in here and get inside these giveaways, it's pretty easy and we got it pretty much set up to where you can only see the games and stuff that you want to play. And so it's well organized for that. But you just come in here. You um, The one that's happening right now is basically you tell your favorite character and it enters you into drawing for the giveaways. We're going to be having two all the way up into the launch of Genshin Impact. All right, so like I said, uh, I definitely get a lot of questions when it comes to the PlayStation 4 version of the game. So let's talk about the facts and see exactly what the developers had to say themselves. So it says, Dear Travelers, if you are still have any questions as you prepare to start your adventure for the PlayStation 4, please have a look at the following frequently asked questions. It contains helpful information for your journey. So will Genshin Impact be free to play on the PS4? Uh, when would it be playable? Of course, we already know this is a free to play game. So of course, it'll be free to play on there as well. But they're going to be doing it a little bit different on the PlayStation 4. And this is exactly what's happening. So uh, Genshin Impact is a free to play game. For further details regarding the game's preload and release schedule, uh, please see below. So preload start time and pre-orders only. So preload is going to start on the 26th. So that is going to be on uh, Saturday. So Saturday night, you're going to be at a pre-order game. Now that's going to be pre-orders only. Now, if you look at it, there's no real pre-order thing. There is a pre-order thing, and that's going to be the Adventure Starter Bundle that you see here. We're going to talk about that in just a second. So uh, pre-order time is going to end on, um, you see, uh, what is that, midnight on the 28th, and then pre-load start time for free. Uh, it's going to start at that time at 28 as well. So when you if you didn't pre-order the game, it's going to start at that time. That's when everybody can pretty much download it. And the official release time is going to be uh, 10. That's going to be UTC plus 8. Um, we already went over the time for the actual official release. So I think it's about the same thing for that as well. Um, now when we're talking about what is the Adventure Starter Bundle. So we can actually look at it right here. I already have it pulled up for you guys. So this is the Adventure Starter Bundle. It's going to cost you $10 if you want to get this. Now, some people have done the math uh, for the statistics of the value of this pack, and people have deemed it not to be like uh, of great value for how much you're spending for this, of what you're getting. Now, another benefit of it is you just simply get to pre-download the game. So if you want to go ahead and pre-download the game, have the game on your system, and get some extra goodies and ball means go and get it. It's about $10, so I mean, it's not that bad, but yeah, it is something. But if you don't really care about this, you can just pre-download the game. Um, that's just going to be on the day it actually comes out. That's when you're going to be able to download the game on that day. So you're going to be able to download like a few hours before it actually comes out is when you're going to be able to download it. But for other people, you get to download it a little bit early. So that's the benefit for that. But yeah, so this is the pack right here. Um, and it's pretty much just telling you like what the pack is, um, and how it works right here. Um, so the other things with languages will be supported in the PlayStation 4 version of the game. So the following subtitle languages will be supported for the game English, Japanese, Korean, Traditional Chinese, Simplified Chinese, German, French, Russian, Spanish, Portuguese, Thai, Indonesian, and Vietnamese. That's a lot of supported subtitle languages. Now, for the actual voiceover languages for the game, you're going to have English, Japanese, Korean, uh, and Chinese, which are pretty much all the ones that were in all of the beta so far. So, nothing too out of the ordinary when it comes to that. Now, will my character data from the PS4 version also be available to play on the mobile and PC version? I can already tell you this is not, um, but let's go and read it. So in terms of data, Travel's PS4 character data will not be accessible on other platforms. As PlayStation Network, PSN accounts are not accessible on other platforms. In terms of gameplay, however, PS4 players will be able to play together with friends and other platforms via crossplay when the same game server and uh, will be able to participate together in co-op events so as long as you're within the same server as the people you're trying to play with you can play with them so if you're in global and they in c then you can't play with them but as long as you guys are both in global or both in c you can play with each other um and it basically they're telling you why you actually can't switch uh from mobile to ps4 and stuff like that it's because of how the playstation network accounts are set up it's something with that and they uh weren't able to bypass that so something on sony side they were saying uh, i believe they said that in an interview as well um how to determine which game server my PSN account is associated with. So due to restrictions, you may be unable to switch your PSN account region. To ensure that you will be able to play co-op mode with your friends, please confirm your PSN account region settings. So America, North America, South America, Europe, 
uh, Asia servers and stuff like that. This information is based on the Sony's regional standards. Please check your regions listed carefully regarding your area. So pretty much what they're saying here is don't pretty much switch regions on your PS4. Just keep your regions the same and follow this regional chart right here. Um, depending on where you at, the corresponding countries or regions, this is where you should um, go inside of the Genshin server. So if you're in North America, obviously you go to the America servers. Europe, Africa, Middle East, go to the Europe server. And uh, Asia and Oceania goes to the Asia server. So that's pretty much it. And they talk about the specific uh, countries and regions right there at the bottom as well. Uh, next thing right here, how do I play co-op mode together with friends? So you're going to be able to get Adventure Rank 16, I can already tell you this, and that's what you'll be able to do it. But uh, in order to play co-op mode together with friends, both you and your friends must select the game, same server, uh, progress to Adventure Rank 16, and complete the required quest to unlock co-op. Please refer to the frequency at question 5 for more information regarding regions and servers. So yeah, once you unlock that Adventure Rank and do the quest, you're pretty much done and you can just go ahead and do it. Um, is PlayStation Plus required to play co-op mode online with friends? This is a, another important question, and no, it is not required to play. Um, because this game is a free game that runs on its own server, uh, they d can go past the uh, the um, needing of the PlayStation Plus. Some games could do that too, like Fortnite and stuff like that. Um, will the play PlayStation 4 version of Genshin Impact be an offline game on online game? Genshin Impact requires an internet connection to play, guys. So... This is an online only game. You have to be always connected to play it. So just keep that in mind. So, um, you know, if you don't have a very stable connection, this could probably be a game that could be a little laggy for you at times because it is a server based game. So just keep that in mind when you are trying to play. Which PS4 models can play Genshin Impact? Genshin Impact can be played on the original PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Slim, and PlayStation 4 Pro. Please ensure that you have more um, than 30 gigabytes available. Uh, to play the game. So yeah, pretty much all the systems can play it. Uh, just keep in mind that the PlayStation Pro will probably have faster load times when it comes to the screen just because it has that SSD in there. So for you guys that got the standard ones like me, um, load times will be a little bit slower, but I'm going to play on my PC, so I'm not going to have that problem. But uh, just keep that in mind that some of the load times will be a, a little bit longer for you guys because of the uh, type of hard drive that you got. This one's pretty cool. Will the PS4 version of Genshin Impact support trophy system? Yes, the PS4 version of Genshin Impact will include trophies. Now, I I'm very excited about this because I always like when MMOs or like games like this just have like a trophy system. I wonder if it's going to have a platinum. I just want to see how crazy the platinum actually will be. Um, you know, because sometimes, especially if this game is going to be continually updating, then you know, they also, companies like to add trophies so you can have like the DLC trophies and stuff. And you know, for you trophy collectors out there, this could probably be a really good game, especially if they keep updating the trophies as new regions and stuff come out. Maybe you get the platinum within the game now, and then as soon as the other regions start coming out, you got to get the new trophies to keep your platinum and stuff like that. I think it'll be pretty cool. So uh, hopefully this could be a good trophy bank for you trophy collectors out there. Will the PS4 version of Genshin Impact have downloadable content? Genshin Impact will have subsequent versions update that will add new playable game content. Travelers will be able to update the game for free. So the game will be updated for free. All the updates are free. Now they are going to have packs and stuff you can buy within the game. So you just got to keep that in mind. So packs um, for things will be in the game. But all the updates, every time the game updates to like a new version, that's free. You don't have to worry about any paying anything, paying for like an expansion or anything like that. All that stuff is usually always free when it comes to these type of games. What are the exclusive PS4 version rewards and how do I collect them? Once travelers complete the tutorial quest on the PS4, they will receive the exclusive Sword of Dissension and the Wings of Dissension via in-game mail. So you guys are going to straight up just get it, which is cool, once you complete the tutorial. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. I, I want to see what that sword actually like is. I want to see the, like, the stats on it, the stats, the uh, weapon skill. I want to see if I'm actually jealous that you guys got that. The uh, glider looks pretty cool, so you guys got that. But, I mean, we do got the other event, so, I mean... It, it all depends on what you want. I hope that sword is good because the event that we got to is kind of good too because that gladiator to set round start, I'm telling you, is chef kiss. Um, why should I pre-register for the PS4 version of Genshin Impact? Travelers that pre-register for the PS4 version of the game can receive the latest news regarding Genshin Impact and will be able to enter the world of Taviat the moment the game comes online. Also, travelers that pre-register will be able to participate in the pre-registered milestone events to receive rewards once the game is released. So what are you waiting for? Head over to Genshin Impact PS4 register page and sign up now. Now if you haven't pre-registered for the game and you are playing on PS4, definitely pre-register because what the rewards they're talking about are right here. We've been over them before but basically you're going to get a lot of free currency and you're going to get a bunch of good stuff as well. So you're going to get the free more, 
You're going to get the enhanced ores. You're going to get the brown hash. Um, we're very close to getting that three mil mark right here, as you can see. Um, very, very close. So we're definitely going to hit that before the game comes out. We are to reach these goals. And then this is the, like the invite friend thing you can do. So if you guys want to do that, you can still do that as well. But yeah, so very close to it. And that's what they're talking about when they say uh, pre-register and be able to participate in the milestone events to receive the awards. Now, if you don't pre-register and you're trying to get those awards, I actually don't know if you can get those awards. Just based on what it's like, how it's wording, I think you have to pre-register in order to even get the rewards as well. But we'll see once the game come out. Um, I could test that with some other people who haven't pre-registered or just make like, you know, some dummy accounts to make sure if that's a thing just to get that information to you guys. And the last thing, why does the purchase price of particular items appear differently on other platforms? I mean, come on, guys. We, we've been here from now. Tax, tax. Uh, due to re uh, differences in platforms, policies, and regional tax rates, there may be differences in prices shown for particular items across various regions. So uh, this is the PS4 forms of frequency asked questions. Uh, pretty good summary here for the PS4 guys. I know a lot of people have questions regarding how the PS4 version is going to be a little bit different. Um, a lot of stuff pretty much the same though. Uh, if you guys got any questions about the layout, I do have a video showcasing what the PS4 version looks like. I was playing on the PC, but I showcased like what the layout for the piece of PS4 may look out now it may be a little bit differently hopefully they added more customization options to you guys but I do have that video I will put that down in the description below so you guys can check that out as well anyway if you like anything I have to say today drop me a like I greatly appreciate it and if you want to hear more from me follow me on my socials also don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know the next video goes live as always my name is Daikin and I'll see y'all next time signing out